What's good, everybody? What's good, YouTube? I'm Jack, and this is Jack Reacts. And for today's reaction, y'all, we got Coco Jones, I See You. Big shout out to Alexis for the request on this one. I appreciate the love and support. And listen, man, if you're watching, there's a song or live performance you want me to check out. Make sure to click that link down below. Send me your song, and I'll react to it and shout you out in the video, man. Um, Coco Jones, definitely heard of Coco Jones before. I know she's like a, a relatively newer, um, I don't know, like R&B pop artist. But I'm, I'm not familiar with her, so that's what I'm saying. I don't know for sure, but I've heard of her name. Uh, this is my first time, I believe, reacting to her on the channel. So, very popular song, by the way. It's been out for only a year, and it's got almost 50 million views. Crazy. Okay, shit. Music video, too, if the video gets blocked. Um, I'll have to obscure it a little bit um yeah man uh by the way if you're watching you want me to react to a song of your toys click that link down below send me your song i'll react to it i don't know if i already said that but yeah let's get straight into it man oh hold on Okay, I like I, I like when I first heard like the background vocals. I'm like, well, I like that. It sounds interesting. And then it, the beat came in. And it sounded like some old school like swing soul type music. That's cool sounding. Damn. okay okay yeah i like this i like this i immediately already like it let me tell you why because she's not singing in cursive i've hold on, i almost cussed my bad let me not cuss let me not get the video demonetized but um every singer and it's one thing for pop like i i hate the cursive voice it's one thing for like pop singers to sing like that you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about like the ukulele singing in cursive whatever if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about um keep that shit in the pop lane bro don't take it r&b but now all the r&b artists r&b artists be singing in cursive too like shot to SZA. i like SZA. i think SZA, to be honest is more pop than she is r&b so i'm again i'm not mad at it and i, you know, I like SZA. but every like it's like singing in cursive. it's like can we get like some more clear like summer walker is the only one i can think of that sings clearly and not in cursive so many artists that bro they just they sing in like the fake weird accent i hate that she has like that immediate classic sounding r&b voice like just sounds rich soulful you can sing good you don't gotta mask it with like a weird accent to distract from the fact that you can't sing so you can sing and again i'm liking the beat too let's get back into it feels better than any man i ever been about the way you just give me try not don't cause I can't forget you got a feel and a soul that I need in my life mm. yeah. oh, oh. and though we may grow I don't know why we don't go apart yeah no, she's hard She's hard. She's got a little bit of a deeper vocal tone too, which I like, especially in female singers. It's just, I just reacted to uh Marsha Ambrosia or Ambrosius from um Flowetry. This is the the song before this one. And she kind of reminds me a little bit. It's like weird coincidence. I don't know, y'all can let me know if you agree, but her vocal tone, like her style reminds me a little bit of Flowetry a little bit. That's a huge compliment, dude. Flowetry is like that's like up there. You dig what I'm saying? When it comes to R&B, slow jam, late night vibes, which this very much is as well. It's like them late night vibe, you know what I mean? R&B, baby making music, but also something I can like play in the car. You know, you're trying to cool down. It's nighttime driving home. It's a vibe. Oh, 
friends I delete every message that we send mm. Try to move on with somebody less like you I don't know how mm. we end up in the red I like the flow switch Find myself reading your comments again mm. And then we end up in each other's heads It all makes sense because Yo, she covered up his car with the... Yo. <laughs> that's petty. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's funny. By the way, I, I like the visual as well. It also, the visual is, is like a throwback vibe as well. I'm, thinking, I'm giving like, like a Shanti vibe. Some, not just a Shanti. I mean, most R&B songs are where it was like storytelling and it would reflect in the video as well. It's another thing I don't see too, too much. With videos, not even not just with R and B, but just any genre. A lot of a lot of videos, they just be I don't know what they be doing. Just, just shoot. It's like they're just shooting a video for the sake of having a video. You know what I mean? You could you you, you might as well just get B roll off of YouTube and make that your video because they, they don't got nothing to do with what you're singing or, or rapping about. So I, I like the the video is one to one. What's going on with the song? You know what I mean? Like she's talking about the the toxicity of. We're just trying to stay friends, not trying to stay attached, but still getting attached. And in the video, she's like covering up the call because she don't want to like, you know what I mean, give into the into the temptations. Speaking of which, the lyrics is dope too. I haven't been talking about the lyrics at all just because the I'm vibing so hard with just the sound of it. It's hard for me to like y'all that's familiar with me on the channel know it's hard for me to focus on two things at the same time. You know what I mean? But the lyrics is dope. That's all I want to point that out. Yeah, she's saying it. Keys in the back. Maybe I'm just pissed off without you. Maybe my life's just off without you. Maybe you're worth it all to me, baby. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. She's fire. Okay. All right, then. I see why this one's so popular. I'm actually really glad this one's popular, too, because again when it comes to like that traditional sounded r&b it still like it has a modern feel to it though especially with just like the just the, like the sound quality and you know the production like it sounds new it doesn't sound like this came out in 1995 but like it has the feeling of it right this has the feeling of an swv record it has the feeling of a flowetry record it has the feeling of a, of a, a brandy record but still modern still you know it's still coco jones it don't feel like a clone of someone else her voice is fire though but yeah like i'm just glad this, this song